Hello there friends, I hope that you're doing well. So how to set up your uh, Razer Detutter Essential. Uh, once you plug the mouse uh, on your computer or on your laptop, uh, the thing is you can't really set it up. You need uh, software from Razer and it's called uh, Razer Synapse. Now here on the screen we have uh, Razer Synapse uh, 2.0 and uh, this uh, program is not really compatible with uh, the Razer Detutter Essential. This is uh, an old uh, software uh, developed by Razer. So what you need to do is to go on Google and download the Razer Synapse 3.0 which is the latest software from Razer and it's using uh, it is compatible f with all the new Razer uh, devices and you can launch it from here as you can see this is the icon from Razer Synapse 2.0 and this one is from 3.0 click on it launch and here you can see all the devices, all the Razer devices that are connected to my computer and here we have Razer that other essential so once you install the software the mouse is plugged in you will see here I have another one connected which is my old Razer Naga Hex V2 and here is the keyboard uh, you also, in order to manage the keyboard which is uh, pretty old, an old model you need to have Razer Synapse 2.0 as well and when you click here you can just set it up the macros and everything from uh, Synapse 2.0 anyway uh, regarding the that other essential once you see it here you click on it and here we have all the options that are available for this mouse we have customize we can actually rebind the keys uh, we have performance performance uh, I found that uh, this setting uh, settings works for me the best 1800 uh, dpi and this value to 200 and uh, pulling rate to 1000 and lightning this mouse doesn't have a chrome option so <coughs> it has only the the standard uh, green lights uh, usually I just uh, leave it turned off because uh, can say that uh, I like too many lights on the peripherals uh, you can adjust here the brightness and uh, to switch the lights off when the the monitor is uh, turned off and we have two effects breathing and static static uh, will uh, leave the the light on, on all the time and the breathing will make the light to go on and off uh, after two, two seconds with uh, like a breathing effect performance I already said and for customize um, so the mouse has five buttons left right click scroll click and the two buttons on the left side which are key binded by default to back and uh, next so when you are on a browser if you click uh, the upper button it will do a forward and the, the one from the back will just do back I don't really use those and I've already key binded uh, the this side uh, side buttons with this one with scroll click so instead of clicking on the scroll wheel I click on this one from the back and control S on the one from the front control S can be used usually in uh, various programs to save so instead of going file save or save us 
you just click on uh, this button and it will just do a quick uh, save, so Ctrl S. Now this is not really a great mouse for uh, productivity if you plan to use it on your or when you work, when programming or whatever you do because the the buttons are just too few in my opinion. So you probably need another button here on the back of the wheel but this is the that are the essential with five buttons and uh, is the cheapest one so it is how it is okay and uh, this concludes the video this is how you connect and set up your Razer data the essential I hope that you found the video useful if you did please subscribe and thank you for watching